All right, it's the Big Ten Conference opener for a couple of teams, Iowa and Penn State, the beginning of a frantic, fantastic, frenetic pilgrimage to pay dirt for one of these teams on the season. This is a passing situation. High snap, Banks has mobility. And Banks has the first down. It is the ninth play of the drive. They've run it six times, passed it twice. Banks in the flat complete. That's Brown with room. Brown knocked it about to the three yard line. First and goal. Second down and goal. Brown and Jones get to the bottom of the screen. Banks rolls their way. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. Jones on the catch. And once again, the Hawkeyes take the opening drive of the ball game for the fifth consecutive week and score. And in comes Kading to attempt the field goal from 47 yards out. Eight of eight on the season. On his career, he's made 15 of 19 between 40 and 49 yards. And he nails this one to give the Hawkeyes a 10-point advantage. Those Hawkeyes will be out tonight. Who picks Suey? <laughs> First and 10. Mills to pass. Johnson brought down immediately in a fumble. The Hawkeyes have the ball. In the red zone at the 17. Number 94, Colin Cole recovering the loose ball. Fred Russell showed his first right there. Great cohesiveness on that offensive line. Second down and 12. Russell. Look at him scoot. Russell. Touchdown, Iowa. The Hawkeyes came to play today. 20 yards into the end zone. They come with the reverse. You knew they had a reverse pass in there with Michael Robinson. First time they've looked to do that this year. Mills downfield, and it's picked off by the Hawkeyes. Derek Pagel causes Zach Mills' first interception of the season. And Iowa with good field position up at their own 47-yard line. Backs lining up out of the eye. Russell going in motion. Thanks. Has a man, Clark. First down at the Penn State 22-yard line. Dallas Clark, the former walk-on, making a big statement there. Because it's almost an automatic field goal right here, the way Iowa's kicker kicks the football. Third down and nine. Penn State blitzing into the end zone for Hinkle. Touchdown! He caught it! A 22-yard strike, and Banks picked up on the pressure and made the Lions pay. First of all, this is a great throw and a great catch. The point, did he have a foot down? I have to say that is a great call right there and a great catch by Ed Hinkle beating a good cornerback in Brian Scott. I'd really compare him to Anthony Davis of Wisconsin in a similar blocking scheme, which Penn State will see again next week when they play the back. First and 10, Banks back to pass. Has Clark. Clark still on his feet and finally brought down to the 37-yard line. And now, I was thinking about perhaps a field goal. Nate Kading into attempt a field goal from 55 yards out. Plenty of leg on this. It's good. 13 consecutive field goals for Kading. And that's a career long. And what a play to take into the locker room for Kirk Ferentz, the head coach of the Iowa Hawkeyes. They lead 26 to 7. It's a game of inches, and that time... Well, the bounce just happened to go the Hawkeyes' way. Fifth touchdown of the season. His 11th career touchdown. And Penn State within 13 now. Oh, 
It's blocked. And a chance maybe for the score off the extra point. It's DJ Johnson. No flags on the play. Derek Pagel came in and blocked it. So it's two points back the other way for the Hawkeyes off the Pagel block. Well, Joe Paterno's been here 53 years. He's seen it all today. DJ Johnson on the block. Field goal runs it back for two points. Officiating anything. So he's up in that alumni association. Yeah, when you give money to a school, you can do a lot of things. Third and four for Iowa. Complete for the first down. Brown still on his feet. Nobody between him and the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa. 54 yards for the score. Penn State already had one breakdown, as you saw moments ago in the kicking game, on that extra point. Boyer gets off a high spiral. Hinkle at the 35. Hinkle got a block. Got Royer to beat. Hinkle all the way back to the 10-yard line. Royer may have saved the touchdown for the Nittany Lions. A 38-yard punt and a 56-yard return. Well, Clark uh, blown a tire at the wrong time. Second down and 18. Mills. Picked off. And this is coming back to the one-yard line. Jay Johnson. The 5'9 freshman picks off Mills and takes it all the way back about two feet from the end zone. First and goal for Zach Mills and the Nittany line offense. The fade. Touchdown! Brian Johnson! Himself a lot of times today on third down. Banks, touchdown Jones. The moxie, the poise, the depth touch of Brad Banks gives Iowa the lead. Michael Robinson in the backfield. They have thrown the football to Michael Robinson out of the backfield. Mills looks the other way. Incomplete, that's the ball game. The Hawkeyes storm into Happy Valley and steal one from the Nittany Lions in overtime. They withstood an incredible 23-point comeback by Penn State to hang on. And they've now won three consecutive times, four out of five, against Penn State. Give credit to both football teams. Iowa dominated action through three quarters of this game, but also Penn State in the character to come back and get this football game into overtime. Penn State, as disappointed as they are, they will live for next week to go to Wisconsin. Let's go to Holly Rose with Thank Kirk Ferentz.